everybody and happy Sabbath. I hope you are having a beautiful and marvelous day thus far. Today I want to talk to you about being a good steward. Being a good steward in Bible terms means that you take care of someone or something that God has entrusted you with. Today I'm going to talk to you about being a good steward of something that I've had for the last 27 years. My dad used to take me to places like Burger King or McDonald's when I was really good and we would get the kids meal for me and these were the, in the days when they actually gave out good toys with kids meals. So I got this super duper cool um, Superman um, toy and it's uh, Clark Kent on the front. But if you press this button really hard, and I hope I can make this work, there's Superman in the middle. And so it's just a fun little toy that I've played with a lot during my summer, spending that with my father. And I have been a really good steward of taking care of it, and I encourage you to be good stewards as well. As a kid, God entrusts you to be a good steward of things like your toys, your pets, your siblings, hint, hint. And he wants you to take care of them and um, be kind to them and use them properly. And then of course, things change as we get older. So when we um, come to the age of driving, uh, we have the opportunity to take good care of our cars. And then when we get older and go to college or find a field like a, a trade to work in, uh, we have responsibilities there. And so God entrusts us to take care of the things that need to be done. And then of course, when we become adults, he entrusts us to take care of things that um, need to be taken care of, like the mortgage, the rent, um, bills, repairs, things like that. And God has entrusted us to be good stewards of these things because in all reality, these things don't necessarily belong to us in a sense of eternity. They belong to us now in um, this worldly aspect so God entrusts us that we will be good stewards of these things. So I encourage you to be a good steward of the things that you have now, because if you take good care of these things, God will entrust you with bigger and better things, hopefully in the future. I hope and pray you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your Sabbath afternoon, and remember to take good care of your things. Happy Sabbath.